EA Sports. To the Welcome game. to Daily Content with John Sims, guys. Today is Tuesday, November 16th, and we have Team of the Week predictions for you. I know they came out yesterday, but I forgot to drop it yesterday. Um, I've got some information on players like Mbappe, where why they may not drop. Um, also, we have new SBCs with Lorenzo and Singe, all that type of stuff here right now, guys. Um, first off, EA first off, first Sports. Off. It's in the game. I want to say, do not do this SBC, guys. Uh, it's just not worth it. it. He will get an upgrade if you follow me on my other platforms. But the thing about it is, it's probably anywhere between, what, 50 to 100K. And you don't really get, I mean, I just don't see, I just don't see the value in this, to be honest. You get a small prime and a prime electrum. So you get, like, maybe 15, 20K back. Maybe, maybe. So you, it's just not... Here's, here's why, guys. Here's why. The card's good. Yes, the card's good. It is an upgrade. Is it an upgrade from his 86? Yes. So it's like, it is a nice little upgrade from his 86. But the problem with this card is right now where the game is at when it comes to shooting, uh, it, it's way behind. And so you don't see a lot of players playing with Insigne anymore just because his shooting stats aren't going to be able to get past the escapers. As we all know, shooting stats are extremely, 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 extremely important this season. And right now, this card will never even get there, even when it gets its upgrades, uh, just because I'm pretty sure that this one is only for pace, uh, I, I believe. So to me, this is not it, um, I, even though it has some really good things. If you just like Insigne and you want to get his upgrade, this is this, then do it. But I don't recommend, I think it's a coin trap. Now, what I do recommend is doing stuff like these guys. I, I recommend doing like the, the these SBCs and the reason why is because you just go ahead and do these you get you get a team back and you get coins back and you have a potential to go and pack an icon you have a potential to pack an Mbappe you have potential to pack that type of stuff here it's like yeah you're gonna get a cool card and you have a small percentage it's I just like I always suggest doing those if you're not very good at trading now let's move on to guys some of this team of the week uh, I suggest Mbappe may not drop. So this is the team of the week prediction. So uh, basically, if you guys buy most of these, I'd be buying them today and then selling them uh, about an hour, uh, two hours before they drop. Like a guy like Marco Royce might be good. Uh, Lucas Paqueta. Uh, oh man, another star card would drop. Oh gosh. Guys, another star card. That's actually starting to look pretty solid, right? Lewandowski starting to get there. Um, what you guys are going to see is this. And here's why Mbappe's price may not drop. And so, if we come, if we, let's go and look. Oh, whoop. Uh, Mbappe. Okay, I'm going to go look Mbappe. I apologize, guys. Remember, we do this, we do this unedited because I do this every single day. So, I don't burn out. Uh, but basically, guys, you see, this is where his price is fluctuating, right? And so, it's kind of flatlined. And the reason why is that... Here in two weeks, guys, if he gets in the team of the week, he's going to start to go up, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. Some player, he, his, he's going to go out of patch, right? So the high rate of players that love Mbappe and they won't play with anybody else, they may sell him and then buy the new one, which is going to be like a million coins more or something like that, which is absolutely ridiculous. I think it's absolutely insane, given that he's got almost everything. The only reason why I would, I would say I would sell this one for the in, improved one is if you can get the base stat up to 85 on vision besides that i mean you're not seeing you're not going to see too much when it comes to gameplay mechanics uh if you've been following my gameplay mechanics you'll understand that if you go to 85 vision that goes from semi-assisted to assisted passing and but here's the thing he's gonna be out of packs for the next week and then in the black friday team of the week best of team of the weeks he may be out of packs two weeks straight which could definitely rise his price quite a bit uh just because then you're going to start seeing a bull demand from people that have, like pulled out of the market yada 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 and they're just wanting to buy in um and so he may start to rise so i i don't think it's necessarily a bad place to put the coins but just remember you may have that initial sell-off just with the high rated fodder or not fodder excuse me but high rated players selling those off now okay if you were here yesterday you guys would know we got the 82 plus player picks out this is where we talk about trading, Sports. guys. And, um, and guys, this is where I love it. If you follow my trading videos, check out my trend trading video or my simple trading video on, on how to sell these gold commons. But basically, guys, the entire market, the entire market's trading at 600 coins. That means you can bid at 400, 450, 500 and be flipping and making so many coins. It's ridiculous right now. So 
what I'm suggesting right now, if you have all day, you don't want to play the game, your server connection's bad, but you want to make some coins, what I recommend doing is going in and just going in and bidding on these cards at like 400 or 500 coins. I know they're small margins, but the thing about it is if you're bored and you're just sitting back, you're watching TV, 350 maybe. Look at this cleaning house here. Guys, this is a raw filter. This is as good as it gets. 350 whatnot and you know maybe that we get them maybe we don't but this is what I suggest doing and just pick some of these up you know they may not pick up at 400 see 450 is probably where I'd probably say my my last term of purchases so let's see if it's that 500 or so but the thing about it is guys you're gonna bid on 50 of those you may win 15 20 of them but here's the thing guys you can bid on 50 of those every about two and a half minutes and if you win 20 of those 15 20 of those that's about two to three thousand coins you make so you can make two to three thousand coins every four minutes and it i mean it just adds up man it just really adds up you spend two hours doing it boom you're at 100k so uh that's that's definitely where i suggest being in the market now if you guys are looking for investment i definitely recommend going with these type of investments here uh, around 11k 84 team of the weeks i just see a huge 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 supply and demand there uh something i have been doing guys is i've been starting to pick up one of every uh team of the week because i think it's that time of the season when uh when we start seeing that so what you'll see is me pick up 85 85 85 and then 84s 85 84s you see this i'm picking up like one of all of them and the reason why is i'm basically just going to hold off on those until december and they'll be worth like 20k and so then I, I i put 10k in i get 20k return and i'm not really worried about it the only player i really want right now is either Militao here and then ginola and then i'm pretty much set so i'm not too worried about my necessarily investments um i love my squad i i mean r9 would be nice instead of viera but then i i can't play with viera and fgs so me personally viera is a key to my stronghold so I'm, I'm going to get Militao for Dante and then Ginola over here. But guys, um, remember, if you guys are still here, make sure you hit the like for us. And that goes a long ways uh, in terms of, uh, you know, helping us go. Uh, and the last thing before we take off, guys, is EA please, Sports. Please, please. It's in the game. I know it's in the game. I know it's in the game. That's our transition. But please drop a lurk on the playlist. We are... We have gained another 100 hours, and so once we get to 4,000 hours, we get partnered. And once we get partnered, I will be coming out with a squads video where you guys can upload your squads daily through my Discord, and I will be able to drop it in for you. So let me let me pull this up, and I'm going to pull up my Discord. If you guys check out my Discord, you can join it here. And what, we, what it kind of looks like here is, boom, we've got everything here in Foot Essentials. But if you join it, it will just show you this rules. Make sure you react to the rules. And then you actually unlock your channels. And what's beautiful about my Discord server is if you don't want to see something, you don't have to see it. So if you want to just be PlayStation and you want to see only, uh, you know, trading, you can do trading. If you want to see tournaments, you can see tournaments. If you want to see coaching, you can see coaching, yada, yada, yada. But basically, we have everything you need here. And so here we're going to see all things FIFA. And this is where basically it's just the main conversation. So you're going to be able to post your squads here. And then guess what? I will be doing videos on this for you guys soon. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that moving, that discord moving. And so we'll be able to get you guys going on squads. And we'll be coming out with either a daily or a bi-weekly video stream for you guys. So I'll be making videos for you every single day or as much as I possibly can as as much as 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 long as we have content to build. Until next time, guys, my name is Johnny. Thank you so much for your help, your support, and keep going making those coins.